fucking thing out of my face! Hey, listen. You can't trespass like that. One day, I'll come to understand how this world works all of its pleasure and mastery. There's four billion years of compounded equity spread upon the trees like fruit ripe for the picking. It's just waiting there, waiting for someone to come along to pick a little piece of fruit. Fruit that's tart to the tongue but sweet to the belly. A fruit that conceals all things under its skin. I wish to find this fruit. I wish to eat this fruit. I'm searching for a balance where there are no ups and downs. There's just this place in the middle where beauty exists. That's where I want to be, right in the middle of beauty. But what must I do to exist there? What mountains must be climbed? What streams must be drifted? What paths must be crossed to be where I want to be? Hey, man. Freddy! Brought some coffee. Right on. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Good to see you, man. You too. So get this, I'm in my backyard this morning. I'm minding my own business. And I look up and I see this drone just flying above the neighborhood. It's going in and out of every backyard down in Bob. Just like boom, 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 boom. That's a complete invasion of privacy. Then it comes into my yard. It starts harassing me. I look right over here, there's this bat. I'm gonna smash this thing to bits. I'm gonna demolish this thing. And this guy has some nerve to do that. But I'm not gonna go to jail for that shit. That's considered vandalism, I know that much. So what can you do? What can anyone do? I don't know what to do. What did you do? You know, I asked it to leave. And it left. Can do that. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, bye bye. Got a job interview. <laughs> With a law firm? Mm hmm. That's great news, man. Don't mind if I do. Congratulations. Thanks. It's been almost seven years since I've had a real interview. <laughs> I can honest to God sit down. No more Skyping shit interview. You nervous? Just sit there and smile, answer the questions. Massage the resume a bit. It sounds right up your alley, man. It's like riding a bike. Some things we never forget. Hey, Primo. Oh, look at this. I knew you were here somewhere. Hi. Vera, this is Freddy. Freddy Vera. Hi. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. There's here from the food bank. She collects her day old popcorn. Oh, good for you. How's things going over there? Um, it's okay. 
I manage this year's food drive, which is uh, a little stressful. I don't have enough volunteers right now. Food drive? You guys do the donation boxes around town at businesses? Yeah, yeah. We do. I saw one this morning at the gas station. More food is coming out than going in. <laughs> I don't know if it's a problem, but it's happening. We should put up one of those boxes here at the theater, I think. You know, we've got plenty of space, foot traffic. Okay. I'll police it. And really, I mean, I'd love to give you some volunteer hours. If you have an application or anything, maybe you can bring it by. Yeah. We'll take whatever we can get. Do you mind if I grab a bottle of water? No, go for it. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any plans tonight? No, not yet. What do you think about joining Freddie and I? Sure. Yeah, hey, I think I talked Beer into joining us for the art walk. Great. Hello. So. I mean, is this, um, this is turning out to be like a date for you? Business class, they retire in coat of arms. Astronauts' footstool may eclipse, and in a heartbeat, the serene they contact. In the evening, I spend an hour with his key in the gateway arch. There's a collapsible lamp next to a collapsible cup near my collapsible bed. Waiting, I cabbage a lottery ticket. I journey on the cowhide lined Abbey Road towards the Mont Saint Michel Bay. I witness Calvino holding back the tides, pushing them across the oceans from where. I search for these things, not in mountains or streams, but in the faces of people who gather along street corners and banquet halls, each holding a sign, campaigning for the beginning. I saw a sign the other day that read, I met a young girl, she gave me a rainbow. Dylan said that. Hey guys. Hey. Hey man, ready to roll? Just give me one minute, I'm gonna try to suit up. All right, yeah, take your time. Cool. Let me ask you something. Have you ever protested anything before? I protest some of the films that try and come through the theater, which is why they don't come through the theater. I think he means like pick it in. Yeah, like, have you ever thrown your weight behind a cause for one reason or another? No, not politically. It'd be fun to pick at something really random, though. Like, uh... How about, like, uh... The men's fake leather belt industry? How many more fake cows must die to make these belts? It's an insult to real cows everywhere. <laughs> it's probably a thing. You know that, right? Man, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Looked like you were tripping there for a second. Nope. <clears throat> you see that article in the Gazette recently? About um, how an Eason interview 101? No, I didn't. Just a suit and tie. So I'll go for the night is to make sure that Freddy's glass is never empty. You should get a suit too. It's buy one, get one half off. You buy it?
What do you think so far? It's nice to see so many people out. I just don't get this. I'm glad it exists and it's serving a purpose, but I mean, look at this. It's terrible. What's going on? <laughs> They'd be able to try a little harder if they want to impress me with this shit. Maybe you just don't understand the artist. I don't understand enough. I don't want to talk with the artist. This thing doesn't solicit any emotion for me. It requires nothing for me to participate with it. It's saying nothing, therefore it is nothing. It's shit. Plain and simple. Why would you waste your time? And it's sold. Look at that. It's said with such honest emotion. Be a part of conversation? Yeah, this is what it's all about. I just don't think the artist should be part of the conversation. It's not about who made the piece, it's about what the piece says once it exists. Is she saying that every piece on your wall has to say something? I mean, are you talking about John Belushi drinking a fifth or you know, the birth of Venus? <laughs> Uh, Belushi, obviously. You guys want to get some ice cream? Oh, uh, I'll have some. Yeah? Fine. No? no? I think we should get a cone. You don't mind? Go for it. Take that. Okay. Make sure you know I grab me a cone. Yeah? I'll take whatever you're having. All right. Thank you. 